So in 1977, in September, at the New York Palladium, I kind of helped coordinate the whole thing. We had Muddy Waters and John Lee Hooker and Johnny Winter and Honey Boy Edwards and Pines Hot Perkins. We had all these people on that show and it was fabulous. And um, it was a lot of work putting it all together and we had a fantastic night and we filmed it. The producer of the show, David Silver, went to LA to edit it and he was there for about six months. He called me around February or March and he said, Linda, I'm just about done with the film and it was kind of like a documentary, a blues documentary. And um, there's a TV festival in Cannes in France the month before the TV fe the film festival. It's called the MIP TV Festival. I'd like to take the film there. I'd like you to go with me. I said, okay. So I talked to Tony. He said, okay, we could go. So we went to Cannes for this TV festival. And it was like this big convention where they, they had booths, like all these different countries had you know, because a lot of the countries, it's state-owned TV. Like, I was showing the blues show to uh, the TV minister from Kuwait, okay? And part of it, Eddie Kirkland was in that film. And during the film, he gets on stage and he's humping the stage, you know, his guitar. And this guy turns white, he says, we cannot show that to the youth of our country. I said, that's all right, we can, we can edit that out. Anyway, I had... It was fabulous. I had so many people interested in this film. We got back to the States. This was 1978. There was no MTV yet. There was no VH1. There was a, so I had about 15 country, 15 people that were interested in buying this film. <laughs> I call our lawyer and he said, do you have releases from all the artists? I was 26 years old. I said, what's a release? I don't know. I'm not the record company, I'm not the management company, I'm the assistant to the manager. So now I had to start working on getting releases from everyone, which was inter interesting. So I worked on this for about four months and I had almost all the releases done. And my boss walks in one day and he says, the blue show is done, forget it, it's history, it's done. I don't wanna hear another fucking word about it, it's done. And he walked into his office and that was the end of the blue show. And to this day, I'm still freaked out about it. <laughs>